Blitz, get ready for the Skills Challenge! truck fans and welcome back to AJ Monster Trucks. We are once again here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I could actually say it this time. <laughs> now we are gearing up for the skills challenge here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Last time we saw Monster Mutt take the racing win and now we are going to see who can take the skills challenge win home. Starting out first up, Jim Cooler in Avenger. And you can see he's rocking that red and blue split dual tone truck. That paint scheme originated in Monster Energy League Season 3, specifically the show in Daytona. And now he's rocking it, or that paint job is being rocked by Jim Kohler here tonight. Looks like he's going to line up for that racing lane with the, uh, the pipe in there for his first hit. Here he goes. Getting a huge sky really past vertical. Great first hit for Avenger. He's got one more attempt left. And also, if you remember, if you watch Detroit Freestyle, he actually took the freestyle win in the last Apex Tour show. So he's coming off a win here. Line up for that one ramp there for a second hit. And another big sky wheelie lands it on the wheelie bar. Look out! Flipping out of control! And he lands on his side. A crazy crash for Jim Kohler. And a great run to start us out. The score is coming in now for Mr. Excitement. What a run, and the score is going to be a 22.3 to start us off. And coming out next, the other half of Team Scream here tonight, Chris Kohler in Wrecking Crew. That beautiful uh, Rage 2021 style body for Wrecking Crew, brand new. He is going to see what he can do here tonight in Indy. They're lined up for the back of that center jump. Definitely a different configuration than we're used to seeing. He's gonna back it way up. Here he goes. Sky really look out, oh no! Lands on top of the cab and the truck rolls back onto all fours. Wow! I don't think that's what he was planning to do, but it ended up working out in his favor. Chris Kohler with a wild first move. We'll see if he can combo it up with something else good here. And for a second hit, see if he can beat his father, Jim Kohler. Line it up just right for that topper. Here we go. Gets it on the front tires into a nose wheelie. And brings it back down. Chris Kohler in Wrecking Crew. It's a pretty good run. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to take the lead over Jim Kohler. But we'll just have to see the scores are coming in as I speak. And I'm surprised I haven't accidentally said Wrecking Machine yet. And your score for Wrecking Crew is a 20.2, not enough to take the lead. Coming out third from Team Hellraiser, Darren Schneider in Hell to Pay. I've been waiting two years to say that. Hell to Pay was supposed to be in a show two years ago, Orlando Florida. Finally here, ready to take on his 
first ever somehow on screen spirit challenge. Now off of the circuit, Darren Schneider is a very, very experienced driver. So this will be his first Apex Tour show. We'll see what he's got. Gonna line up to that far side popper on the top over here. Here he goes! Gets it into a nose wheelie up over the, the top over And gonna, oh wow, look at this! Bringing it back into a stop wheelie! Now that's what I'm talking about. All I was saying, Darren Schneider, very experienced. And he's showing off that knowledge. And also, this is held to pay 3.0. Originally, it was on a purchase for a level cap. Now it is found a uniform on a metal shop that is set up. And I think it looks beautiful. It's the best iteration of the to date. It's definitely working out for there. He's doing a great job. He's got one more hit left, though. He looks like he's going to line up for maybe a bicycle hitter. Oh, going into it slow, up on the two tires, almost loses it on the side walls of the tires and slaps it against the ramps to end his run. What a maneuver. Give it up for Darren Schneider in hell to pay. Definitely a great run showing off his skills and your score for hell to pay is... A 24.6, your new skills challenge leader. And speaking of Team Hellraiser, his brother and the other half of the team, Randy Schneider, Cardinal Sins. You can see he's got that police siren wailing for the fans. He's ready to go. He is hyping up you guys at home watching this show. And he's looking to beat his brother's score. Now we've actually seen more of Cardinal Sims than the captain of Team Hellraiser himself. We saw Cardinal Sims at a couple shows. We saw him at Lafayette, and before that we saw him at the Wild Up of Steel. And that very small show. Looks like he's gonna line up for that popper. That beautiful Cardinal Sims truck. Oh, he's gonna line up for a little burst up! Trying to find the word Paxton Popper gets it into a combo on the front two tires. The beautiful layer five shows and he slaps it back down. Solid first attempt for Brandon. Gonna search for a second though. Looks like he's gonna reverse onto that tabletop ramp. going to try another reverse copper here. Here we go, Yup, get it into a reverse copper on the back of the tires. Will he be able to combo it up? Somehow gets the traction and slaps it down. Those fire stones are really reliable for the grip there, you can see. Let's hear it for Brandon Schneider, part of those sins. Pretty good run, not sure if that's going to be enough to overtake his brother, but we'll see. Your score for Brandon Schneider and Cardinal Sins is... A 23.6, not quite enough to overtake the lead. Coming out next, another truck we haven't seen in a long time, it's the Buffalo Bill! I am so excited to see this truck back in action. Last time we saw him was at the Wallace Coliseum show, but as we all know, he was in San Diego at Qualcomm Stadium. Or at least I think that's San Diego. He was at Qualcomm Stadium. He had an incredible skills challenge run. He actually won. So let's see if he can do it again here tonight in Indy. He's going up over that combo ramp. He's going to bring it into an Axton Popper combo. Walking it up once again into another nose wheelie. A solid first hit for the Bills truck. Now last time, we were, it's not last time, the Bills truck had a different chassis in the San Diego show. It was actually running the chassis that was sold and became Blue Crusader. Now he runs a PEI XT3 and he's, look at that, balancing on the nose just like he did two years ago. He has not lost it. 
Look at that. Almost perfectly. A little motion there for a second. If there's anybody who knows how to ride out a nose really move on Kano, it is the Buffalo Bills truck driver. Look at that. Still going. He's just going to balance it for a long time like he did to get that win. And actually, it was a tiebreaker where he performed that incredible nose really. One of the longest on the channel. Uh, probably not anymore. This one might take it though. He's going on a long time. Look at that. Are you going to combo it up? Oh, reverse sky wheelie over the tabletop. And whoa. Absolutely amazing run for the Buffalo Bills. Incredible performance. Your score for the Buffalo Bills truck is a 28.8! Holy cow! Your new skills challenge leader! And coming out next, folks, let's get those trucker arms going for a little bit of stabilizer! Got the trucker horn going, hyping up the crowd. Alright, now she is ready to get her skills challenge run underway. Last time we saw a stabilizer, it was in Arlington, Texas. Did pretty good in the skills challenge. Let's see if she can replicate it here tonight in Indy. Gonna line up for that. Looks like going for a, a sky wheel in Indy. Getting a big sky wheelie, lands on the down ramp, slams into that jammer, but she is all right. Pretty good first hit for Stabilizer. One attempt is remaining. Looks like going to line up for that. Very near side wave right there at Google Top. She does go in for a reverse popper. Brings it back. And tries to get it up the ramp. And that's all she wrote. Let's hear it for Cynthia Gauthier, Lucas Stabilizer. It was a pretty good run. The second attempt left something to be desired, but looks like she just hoped to get the brick going back up that ramp and slap the truck back down. And your score for Lucas Stabilizer is... A 22.1, definitely not enough to take the lead. Oh boy. Speaking of people who can take the lead, coming out next, celebrating two decades of maximum destruction, Thomas Max D! Got those beautiful LED lights going on that beautiful anniversary truck. And it looks like he's gonna line it up for the NOS energy backflip, calling for the maximum moonwalk! He's gonna line it up just right to make sure he can get that skill in. Bringing it up to the top of the trend box. It's time for the maximum moonwalk. Here we go. Displaying incredible balance. And look at that. He's got his arm waving out the window at you fans at home. Incredible show of balance and skill from Max D right now. Bringing it backwards a little bit on the nose. He is incredible at balancing that truck. Still going in the maximum moonwalk now. Next to the Nos Energy logo. Still balancing that truck for you fans at home. Celebrating two decades of destruction. Max D with an incredible first attack. Let's see what he's got cooking for his second attempt. If he can follow it up with something great, I think he could take the lead here tonight. 
Buffalo Bills, nothing to sh nothing to shake your head at. A 28.8, an incredibly hard score to beat. But Max D, top end, somebody who can definitely do it into a second hit now. Bringing it back for a moonwalk. Bringing it forward. Once again, what is he planning to do? Bringing it back into a moonwalk. Up over the tabletop! Somersault tip backwards! And still balancing it! What? Unbelievable! He's still going! Oh, he's still going! What is he doing now? Oh my god! Into a sidewall! What? Tom Banks with the, one of the best skills runs we've ever seen here on AJ Monster Trucks! Oh my gosh! That's blowing my mind! And your score for comments and maximum destruction is... A 29.7! Your new skills challenge leader! Oh my gosh! And another truck that's known for the skills challenge coming out next. Nox Energy Overdrive! Oh my gosh, I can't even get over what Tom Mentis did. But if you saw Detroit, you know what Nox Energy is about to do. And at least I think he's gonna do it. What he's trying to make his signature move. Will we see it? Here we go! There it is! The one real steal! The NOS Energy Overdrive! It wasn't as long as the one in Detroit, but that move takes incredible skill. He even balanced it on the tire for a second. NOS Energy really going for that way with a signature move. Like I said, he calls it the one wheel steal, and it is incredible. Now it looks like he's gonna line up for the side of the Nox Energy backflip, looking for the overdrive moonwalk. I don't know, I think I've ever seen this before line up for the side of the moonwalk, at least on AJ. Here he goes, bouncing it on the nose. I know Adam Anderson tried to do it once. Look at that, on the nose, Nox Energy bringing it across the track, almost to the finish line. At least with left of it. Now I'm gonna bring it back towards the Nox Energy back to Grant once again, and balancing it on the nose. Incredible show of talent from Nox Energy. And he's gonna bring it back down, one on for overdrive. And your score for Nox Energy Overdrive with a one-wheel steal is a 28.1, a very high score, but still not quite enough to take the lead from Tom Mix. And coming out next, it's Bulldozer! Yes, that is how it's pronounced, if you didn't know yet, Bulldozer, the AJ Monster Truck exclusive. Here he goes, he's gonna line it up for a stoppy. Shooting off the smoke. Gonna bring it back over the tabletop. And it powers it into a wheelie. How did that happen? Oh my gosh. Really testing the RPM for that truck to bring it into a wheelie like that. Shooting off the smoke once again, bouncing it on the front nose. Unbelievable. And solid first hit for Bulldozer. Unbelievable. These trucks are really going hard after they saw what Tom Mentz did. They know they're going to have to step up their game. And Bulldozer with that incredible power wheelie across the tabletop. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And now we're going to line up to that other tabletop as the near side one on the racing cluster. On uh, whatever you want to call it. First section of ramp there. Here we go. Second attempt. Going for another new walk. Walking it backwards. Shooting off the smoke. And tries to get into another 
Are. Couldn't quite get that second power wheel in there. And the score is a 26.8 for the mechanical bull. And coming out next, the new Apex Predator, Thunder Roris! A beautiful truck. <coughs> Excuse me. A beautiful truck. Brand new to the Monster Truck world and to AJ Monster Truck. It looks like he's gonna line it up for a bicycle right away, not even lining it up on the sides of the walls of the tires into a wheelie on one tire. Wow, what a first move for Thunder Roris. Now moves like that don't actually count as one wheel steals. The rule defined for a one-wheel steal is that it has to be done intentionally on one tire. And it's not wasting any time going into a second attempt. Opening the jaw of that truck for his stopping. Going to walk it back over the tabletop. Going to look to combo it up and couldn't get the traction. Let's hear it for Thunder Roars. A pretty good run. Not sure if that's going to take the lead from Tom Mentz, but we're about to find out. Scores are in now, and for Thunder Roars, it is going to be a 25.4. Not enough to take the lead. And now we're down to our last two trucks coming out next. Baku God Dragonoid! Who, by the way, made it to the final round of racing two shows in a row and lost both times. So he's probably got some pent up frustration here. Always been very good at the skills challenge, so we'll see what he can do tonight here at Indianapolis. Here we go. First hit, getting it into a stoppy. Look out, not in a good place there with that pop away from the way, and he's forced to bring it back down early. That is not what he was going for. Probably not very happy with that. You can see he's sliding that truck out in frustration. Hands and Murphy in Bakugan Dragon. Looking for that second attempt on the rear side of the line. Here we go. Into a stoppy. Now that's more like it. That's what he was looking for that first time. Going to bring it back over the racing lane. And keeping it on the nose. Look out. That ramp gets in the way. Tries to bring it into a wheelie combo. But he's forced to end it. Let's hear it for Kansas Murphy. Bakugan Dragonoid. It was a decent one. But I definitely don't see that taking the lead anytime soon. And the score is a 25.4. Like I said, not quite enough. And the final truck out for the skills challenge. Celebrating 20 years of begging for gold. Charlotte Pocket Monster Mods. Your racing winner from last, the last installment of this show. He's going to look for that skills challenge win to double down. And he's going to try a bicycle from this angle. We haven't seen that yet here tonight. Trying to wow the judges with something different. Here we go. Getting it on the two tires. Keeping it balanced. Look at that. Lots of talent being shown there. Charlie Pockin riding it out for the best bicycle all night. Now he's got one more attempt left. One more attempt in the skills challenge. What will he do? Going to bring it around for that step up there. I don't think we've seen anybody tackle that yet. And Monster Mutt looks like he bottoms out the chassis there. Here we go. For the final hit of the skills challenge, bringing it into a nose wheelie, balancing it on the nose, the dog nose, and waving the rear steering in the air. Going to bring it back now. And oh, looks like he was trying to go for the backflip combo. Doesn't quite work, but he still lands on all four fives. Let's hear it for Charlie Pocket in Monster Mud. 
Now, this is the determining factor. Who will take it home? Will it be Tom Benz for two decades of destruction or Charlie Pocket for two decades of begging for bones? Your score for Monster Mud is... A 27.9 Your Skills Challenge Leader, Tom Benz, Maximum Destruction! Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed tonight's show of Apex 2, remember to hit the like button and subscribe, and stay tuned for the final...